2019 Bentley Continental GT Coupe, 2012-2018, Review The Good Points of Bentley Continental GT Coupe, 2012-2018 Surprisingly Quick Supple Ride Luxurious Cabin Feels Special Drive and Automobile the bad points of Bentley Continental GT Coupe, 2012-2018 W12 engine extravagance Rear cabin space Expensive to operate There's a perplexing sense of Britishness in regards to the second generation Bentley Continental GT Coupe, on the imposing yet felt styling to a interior swathed with lashings of leather and charm. It's luxurious but also in a nevertheless slightly quaint manner. Not only are these claims Bentley available because two-door, four-seater coupe, there's a Continental GT convertible also offered, alongside a greater, but nevertheless closely related, four-door saloon version, the Flying Spur. Such would be the Bentley's mix of spaciousness, relatively speaking, performance and refinement, its few direct rivals, the nearest contenders being the Aston Martin DB11. Diane versions on the Evergreen Porsche 911 Coupe plus the Mercedes-Benz S-Class Coupe. Twin turbocharged performance. Despite the lightest Continental GT Coupe tipping the scales at 2,295 kg, performance is certainly not short of prodigious, even entry-level V8 model can crack the 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration standard in 4.8 seconds before reaching a top-notch speed of 190 miles per hour. Turbocharging may be the key here, or in other words a two of turbos, is. Whether you choose the 4.0-liter V8 engine or even the unusual 6.0-liter W12, imagine two 3.0-liter V6s sat next to one another, twin turbocharging sees power outputs which is between 507 horsepower and 642 horsepower. Needless to mention you'll be incredibly fortunate to attain anything nearby the V8's official fuel consumption claim of 26.8 miles per gallon in real life. Four models can be purchased, GT V8, GT V8S, 528 horsepower, GT, no model name hitting the ground with the W12 engine, with 590 horsepower, and GT Speed, using the 642 horsepower addition in the larger power plant. Sporty yet comfortable drive. The Bentley's considerable heft blunts its outright agility along twisty roads but a blend of all-wheel drive and wide tyres make sure that traction isn't broken, still permitting you to corner briskly, if not using the finesse of the rivals. Conversely, few cars in any way come near marching the Continental GT's suppleness over harsh road surfaces, behaving much more a limousine than many supposedly luxury saloons can come near to. So long as you're not anticipating deliver the ultimate representation of wieldiness you're unlikely being disappointed through the Bentley's dynamic blend. Performance Up to 642 horsepower obtainable in W12 guys. More efficient V8S sounds sportier. Twin turbos whichever you ultimately choose. Heritage could be the name with the game at Bentley. So there won't be any efficient hybrids or diesels inside Continental GT lineup, just some large petrol engines, each blessed without one, but two turbos. V8 power for relative discretion. It's debatable whether a twin turbo, 4.0 litre V8 engine is the fact that inconspicuous, nevertheless it's the entry point with the Continental GT range. Its throaty exhaust note is steeped in desirability in order that it never feels as though you've scrimped if this would be the one you plump for, but unsurprisingly it can be, fractionally, kids' most frugal offering. Not that the state claim of 26.8 miles per gallon would be the most important statistic when searching for a powerful coupe, so instead relish the prospect of 507 horsepower for a sonorous 6,000 revolutions per minute along with an impressive 660 newton meters of torque from just 1,400 revolutions per minute. That's enough for the 190 miles per hour top speed, requiring just 4.8 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour, sharing principal power plant though operated performance may be the V8S, 
you're considering 192 miles per hour and 4.5 seconds for that 0 to 62 miles per hour time here, from 528 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque, albeit from 1,700 revolutions per minute. Unusual W12 engine for your flagships. Engines in high performance cars usually have their cylinders in the V configuration. Nevertheless the 6.0 litre twin turbo Volkswagen sourced unit Bentley employs does have its 12 arranged inside a W. In essence it's two V6 units sat side by side, hence the pattern looks, something, such as a W when viewed head on. Although the cars carry W12 badging, models fitted using this power plant are known simply as Continental GT, no contrived naming here. Instead it lets its 590 horsepower output perform torquing, that's sufficient to propel the Bentley onto a highly regarded speed of 198 miles per hour there's 720 newton meters of torque available from 1800 revolutions per minute however its 4.5 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time merely matches the V8S. Topping the range will be the GT speed with further power and torque increases around 642 horsepower and 840 newton meters at 2000 revolutions per minute respectively. That shaves the 0 to 62 miles per hour time as a result of 4.1 seconds as you move the top speed is usually a claim 206 miles per hour caress the throttle pedal at any speed and also the Bentley surges forward relentlessly. Regardless of engine choice, all GTs are fitted that has a silken 8-speed automatic gearbox, with wonderfully tactile steering column ones for manual treating the ratio selection. Handling Heaviness blunts outright agility. Four-wheel drive enhances traction. Air suspension delivers poise. Despite the beautifully sculpted bodywork and rakish fast back styling, the Bentley Continental GT Coupe seems as if it's heavy as well as the scales don't lie. With the lightest inside the range to be a portly 2,295 kilograms, that's not just a great recipe for agile handling. What's surprising is it's definitely not a disaster and to get a large car it's remarkably well composed, mainly due towards the standard fit air suspension system. Not only performs this preserve poise when changing direction quickly, it may also help deliver a cosseting amount of ride comfort. Striking a great compromise between sportiness and suppleness, albeit biased to your latter. Disappointingly that same detached sensation you get on the ride quality can be obtained elsewhere within the Continental GT's controls, there's a satisfying weight to your steering wheel, pedals and gear change paddles but none of these feel particularly involving make use of. The message here isn't a poor one. It's simply that Bentley chooses to differentiate the Continental GT looking at the competition by focusing upon luxurious performance as opposed to an intrinsic chance to dart about. Despite that remoteness in accordance with its rivals, you don't ever feel unsure how it's likely to respond whenever you do ramp up speeds on winding back roads. Traction and road holding are strong points courtesy on the Bentley's all-wheel drive system, complemented by wide wheels. In slipperier conditions the Bentley will be able to carry more speed through corners than its rear-wheel drive alternatives. Although carbon ceramic brakes are optional, because of the nature with the Continental GT we'd stick while using standard steel ones that provide ample stopping power. Consider the extra cost items if you're planning regular track driving escapades. Behind the wheel. Beautifully built cabin. Feels slightly outdated fine visibility levels. It won't require much time to get used to your Bentley Continental GT's charming interior, even if it does feel something of the throwback, particularly using the eyeball air vents and organ stop controls. All the controls will be more or less where you'd anticipate finding them, even though the starter button for the wrong side on the center console appears like a sop to left-hand drive cars even though the column stalks with the indicators and wipers sit too low down since the gear change paddles occupy their usual location. There's a satisfying waiting to your controls and there's little evidence much VW group parts being redeployed within the Bentley from the way you'll spot them inside Bentayga. The biggest giveaway could be the multimedia system with graphics inferior to individuals you'd find inside a humble Golf.
It's a tactile interior and you'll end up caressing the item of furniture whenever you're sat idly at traffic lights to savor the craftsmanship. Visibility is okay, and even though the windows look relatively narrow, as the Continental GT is a substantial car they're actually quite big. The door mounted mirrors afford you an excellent view from the road behind, as well because Bentley's shapely rear haunches. Comfort Air suspension is supple. Luxurious environment in the beginning. Rear of cabin short on space. Unlike a number of other cars in this particular segment, there's a definite comfort bias inside the Bentley Continental GT's ride and handling setup, making it a great car to protect huge distances quickly. Yes, it's quick nonetheless its ultimate agility is compromised by its weight plus the fact Bentley customers typically demand being cosseted. You can boost the firmness in the standard air suspension system but it really feels more in line with its luxurious intent to help keep it in comfort mode and waft along imperiously. Front seat occupants will see there's enough space to luxuriate in, even if you do feel slightly hemmed in through the thickness in the center console and chunky door panels. The seats are superb and feel more special in Mulliner driving specification guys. Here you might have the air conditioned seat ventilation and electrical heating on concurrently, if you ever so desire. Those from the back fare less well. It's delightfully trimmed back there nonetheless it's short on space, for both heads and legs for anybody much taller versus the average child of their early teens. Keep a feeling of perspective here, though, adults really fit comfortably from the back of any luxury sports coupe. One touch giving the coupe something in the feel of the convertible sibling is the fact you can lower all four side windows, allowing cool outside air to permeate the cabin with little with the turbulence to blow yours or maybe your passenger's hair around. Equipment Four models available. All feel luxurious. Wide selection of options. Comprising of four models that has a choice of 4.0 and 6.0 liter twin turbo engines. The Continental GT range is refreshingly straightforward to know. Standard Bentley Continental GT Coupe Equipment Describing a Bentley as standard doesn't remotely perform car justice, here you're not only buying off-the-shelf equipment elements even so the time, dedication and craftsmanship associated together with the crew-based mark and its particular team of experienced staff. Starting point for that range could be the GT V8. Take essentials for example electrically operated windows, door mirrors and seats, and also dual zone climate control as watch. Distinguishing the V8 are a range of dark fiddleback eucalyptus or dark stain madrone veneers for your dashboard, center console and doors, a leather and chrome trimmed gear lever and four different colors of leather upholstery. Outside there's air suspension with continuous damping control, 20 inch 6 tri-spoke alloy wheels, black brake calipers, Twin Vigravate exhausts, a chrome look grille, bi-xenon headlamps with lead main beam and red badging. Building upon that would be the sportier GT V8S, subtly differentiated inside by piano black veneers along with an old knob. The exterior changes are more obvious having a black mesh grille and similarly hued body kit for the Bentley's lower extremes, while behind the 20-inch open spoke alloys are red brake calipers. There's no W12 reference for that next model up, it's simply known since the GT, which doesn't look dissimilar on the V8 model. Inside there's a luxurious feel with burr walnut trim replacing the eucalyptus option, having a choice of 17 leather colors, including two-tone options. Save for the set of W12 badges for your wings and oval tail pipes, the exterior is precisely the same too. Changes for your GT Speed are unsurprisingly a hybrid of both W12 and Giant GT along with the V8S, so inside black veneers sit alongside the broader spectrum of leather colors. As part in the Mulliner driving specification what's more, it benefits from diamond quilted leather, a hide headlining and alloy pedals. Outside it's more distinctive with dark dent, watch grey, grills, lights and 21 inch speed alloy wheels although body it could be the same color as being the rest from the car. Optional Bentley Continental GT Coupe Accessories Although the Continental GT is dear to begin with, choices considerably more cash on a raft of personalization options. 
As ever we advise caution here, you could fancy an on-standard mad copper paint scheme with contrasting verdigris hued quilted leather but likelihood is nobody else will in terms of selling it on. A new Bentley specialist are able to talk you through options that can assist come resale time. More sensible include the option bundles available, grouping together many more desirable specification elements into cohesive packages. Choose the Mulliner driving specification for just a choice of three designs of 21-inch alloy wheel, diamond pattern quilted leather and drilled alloy sports pedals. Pick Premier specification for the reversing camera, ventilated and massaging front seats, adjustable front armrests plus a high-end name stereo audio. Further personalization is available while using interior style specification, featuring deep pile mats. A special leader and contrast color stitching to your leather surfaces. Safety. Not crash tested by experts at your own cap. Based on proven VW technology. All models feature all wheel drive. You won't find details in the Bentley Continental GT safety score around the your own cap website as it's not been tested through the crash analysis experts. However, don't fear because parent company Volkswagen has an excellent reputation at achieving a lot on these tests plus the Bentley is founded on tried and tested VW hardware. Naturally, you'll get the cabin in the middle of airbags, while a suite of electronic stability systems and four-wheel drive assist in preventing the car becoming too larry in tricky conditions. LED lighting technology also ensures you're easily seen by other road users. Interior and boot space. Useful 358 litre boot capacity. Seats for, almost. Luxury finishes don't promote practicality. Chances are when you're considering a Bentley Continental GTU Al watch you have a very car or two with your fleet that's somewhat more practical, not to the crew built coupe disgraces itself compared to its key rivals. You're unlikely to sniff at 358 litres of boot space which can be more than ample for any couple of cases along with sundries for just a spontaneous drive for the French Riviera, and there's a decent amount of cabin space in comparison with other cars on this segment. Just keep expectations sensible, you're unlikely to own palatial degrees of rear room in almost any two-door coupe. Living using a Continental GT on a regular basis wouldn't prove a chore either, there's enough storage space, with sensible cubbies dotted regarding the cabin. Your main issue are going to be not wanting to damage the high quality wood and leather finishes that envelope the lining.